Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk to you about this device here, Kindle. Yes, well, I know that there are a lot of videos about Kindle on the internet and a lot of reviews, but my intention making this video is to tell you the advantages of this device for me. Um, so I don't intend to compare the models, I'm going to talk a little bit about my model here, but I don't intend to compare all the models and, and things like that. So uh, just for you to know, maybe if you don't know, uh, there are three models, different models of the Kindle, and there is one model that for me, of course, for my reality here, it's very expensive. And there are um, other two models. And my model here, the model I bought, uh, it uh, was last year. I think it's going to be almost one year since I bought my Kindle. Um, is the new Kindle. Uh, so there were two options for me, the new Kindle, this Kindle here, and the Kindle Paper White. So I chose this one because the price uh, difference between them was 150 reais. And so I'm from Brazil and this is our coin here, reais. So the, this was the price difference. And for me, um, the main difference, there are two main differences between this Kindle I bought and the Kindle Paperwhite. So this Kindle here I have has a storage of 4 gigabytes and the other one a storage of 8 gigabytes. But for me in the in this almost one year having this Kindle here, uh, it's uh, a good storage. I didn't have any problems with it. All the books I wanted to read uh, fits here <laughs> and I have a lot of books already saved here. So for me, uh, that's, that size is enough. And another difference, um, big difference between the two of them are that uh, the other one, the Kindle Paperwhite that I don't have, is waterproof. So, <laughs> if you um, if you have a house with a pool, it's very nice to have a waterproof Kindle, right? Imagine you are in your pool and reading some book. Oh my god, that's the dream. But I don't have an easy access to pools here where I live. So, that, that difference, that price difference uh, wasn't worth it. So, I bought this Kindle here. Uh, and this Kindle is already perfect because it has a front light so I can read it on the dark so at night um, I just read with the lights off and then just go to, and, and then just sleep <laughs> just close the Kindle and sleep that's perfect, you don't have to um, stand up to turn off the lights okay, so now I'm going to talk about the advantages of this Kindle um, specifically in my opinion okay so maybe you have something common with me and these advantages are going to be a uh, main point for you too in deciding to buy it or if you are in doubt of buying it actually i always thought that this device will, were very expensive so my boyfriend uh, has a kindle for, for many years and i always thought that oh, I won't buy this because it's expensive and I won't use it a lot. Um, I started to use his device uh, sometimes and I loved it and I had to buy my own device. And nowadays I see how many advantages uh, there is for me for having this device in my hand here. So it's not expensive. Maybe when you look um, at the price, you think, no, it's kind of expensive because you have to pay the price of the device and then buy the books to read. But now that I have it, I don't think it, it's expensive. It's a fair price and it's worth it. Okay, so, okay, let's talk about the advantages finally because it's time. So, um, for people who travel, this is very nice. And now on the quarantines, of course we are quarantines. It's a great, it's a great um, opportunity to have it and to enjoy it inside your house. Because sometimes, uh, let's talk first about the quarantine. Not because we are inside our house that there aren't many things to do. And uh, sometimes you uh, have to work home office, and then you have some time 
to spare, to relax, and sometimes you prefer to watch something, watch some video, watch some TV show, then read. And I think that having a Kindle will help you to read more during this period, during this quarantine, because it helped me. Um, even before the quarantine, I started read, reading much more uh, after I bought this Kindle here. Um, okay, so not only on the quarantines, but the daily life and mainly when we are traveling, we have to get a bus or a plane and it takes long hours to get in our destination, so having a Kindle will save sometimes our life, our hours and we can read some uh, fictional books or we can, we can read some technical books and learn even on these per periods, you know, when we have nothing to do and have to wait. So in our daily life also uh, the Kindle is very good because you have to wait in lines many times and this is easy to carry around uh, because it's small and it fits almost everywhere sometimes even in a pocket <laughs> you can put it so uh, you can carry it around everywhere and read it when you have I don't know maybe some minutes and maybe some hours of waiting since I bought it I started reading much more because when I bought it I was um, taking my master's degree and um, I always ate at the restaurant inside the university and I don't know where are you from, but if you are from Brazil, you know that the restaurants in the universe, in the universities, have a big, big, very big line to wait. So imagine you have to hold a book in a line that could take, an, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, and sometimes um, the book may be heavy, and then you go inside the restaurant and you have to put it under your arm so the kindle is much light and easy to carry and of course there is a, a front light here so it's easy to read if you are on the sun and in a sunny day or in a cloud day so it's very nice um for these daily activities you know <laughs> even if you are going to your work you have to catch a bus you can use this because you can also read while you're standing so that's a great point. So now there is a third uh, advantage of this device for me. The first two was reading, reading more and the possibility to carry it around very easily, of course, because the books you can also carry around, but this it's much easier to carry around, okay? And also going back to this point of carrying it around, nowadays we know, of course, uh, when you go to travel mainly by plane, um, each day there is more baggage limits and the wages that you can carry with you are getting even smaller and smaller and some companies, some cheap companies, uh, plane companies, there, plane companies, uh, they have restrict rules about the wage, what you can carry with you. So with this here, we don't have to worry about this as we would have to worry if we were, we were carrying a book. Okay, so, so for me, the third advantage is that uh, I've changed address a lot in the last four years. So in the last four years, I moved to different city, cities three times. So imagine to carry all the books from one city to another. And not only the books, because when you are moving, you have to carry many other things. Uh, thanks God, I, don't, I didn't have... Um, many furnitures because the places I was living was already already had furniture so I just have to take what was mine and it was already difficult because in 2016 I moved to a city here in Brazil it's called Joinville and I stayed there for one year and moved again in 2017 to another city which was Florianópolis and I stayed there uh, I had some books in 2017 to take with me to Florianópolis and in there I bought some more books, I had more books and I have to move again <laughs> and now I'm here living in Curitiba but um, all the books 
I had I left in my mother's house so here where I'm living now I just have this I don't have any books <laughs> because it's too difficult to carry them around um, it's nice to have a book a physical book but it's when you are moving a lot it's very difficult to carry them around and it's heavy that's the worst part because when you put all of the books together I didn't have many books like a shelf full of books but even even with a few books it's already difficult because it's heavy so this was a good point for me in this second time this third time that he moved I already had the Kindle so now I left the books there in my mother's home and I, I have here the Kindle and I can still read many books, as many books as I want. And also great things about the Kindle uh, is that, is that the, you don't have to charge it a lot. It's not like a cell phone that you have to charge every day. You sometimes depends on how much you use the light, on how much you read, but sometimes it, it can take weeks without having to charge it. And that's it. That's the adventures that I want to talk to you about Kindle. So, uh, changing address, <laughs> reading more, and carrying it around. Okay, so that's it. That is this video. That was, that is, I think, everything I want to talk about Kindle. And I love this. And I had to talk about it. And despite the amount of videos about it, I love this and I had to talk about it, okay? So sorry. <laughs> and I wrote a post on my blog with all my thoughts and many more thoughts about this device. So if you are interested in reading it, I will leave the link here in the description below. So here on the description, I will leave the link to the Amazon website. So if you are interested in buying it, you can check the prices and things like that, the different models. If you like this video, just hit the like button below. And that's it for today. So, no, a great companion for traveling and now for the quarantine also. 